Hey guys, Carolyn here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys everything I use in my K-pop binders, and I'm also going to be explaining where I get everything. You guys have been asking me a lot lately what I use and where I get it all, so I thought it would be helpful to just have a full video that explains everything and shows everything that I use as of February 2020. I did one of these back in 2018, I believe, but I've changed a lot since then, so yeah, let's just go ahead and get started. Just a disclaimer that you don't need all of these things in order to have a nice K-pop photo card binder most of these are just personal preferences of mine so yeah definitely don't need all thing all these things they're not all requirements so yeah let's just go ahead and get started also I'll be sure to link everything that I talk about in this video that I can find in the description box in case you want to pick up any of these things for your own photo card binders so the first thing I obviously have are my binders themselves I currently have five binders and I just bought a sixth one because my super junior infinite binder is getting to be um, very full, so I needed a sixth binder. Yes, I'm aware that I have a problem. We don't need to talk about it. So the binders I use are called Avery. Um, they're the brand Avery, and they're three-inch binders. Um, most of them I got from Staples, which is an office supply store in North America, but I bought my most recent one from Amazon, so I will go ahead and link the Amazon one down below if you don't live in the U.S. or Canada and can't go to Staples. But yeah, I use three inch binders just because it gives me plenty of room to expand my collection. Most of the time you see people use like one or two inch binders, but I just like having the option to have plenty of room to expand. So I always just say go big or go home. And I personally don't really care for four inch binders that much, though I probably eventually will get a four inch binder. But anyways, I just use three inches for right now. The next things that I use are my pocket pages to hold all of my cards. So we'll go ahead and go through them. The the one pocket pages are very generic i'm pretty sure i just got them from staples or like cvs or some like random store that sells office supplies um, i mostly just use these as dividers with some white cardstock which i also got from staples can you tell i love staples a lot it's my favorite store staples please sponsor me <laughs> but every once in a while i'll use one pocket pages to hold super large items though the majority of the time if they only fit in one pocket pages i don't often put them in my binder i don't know i don't really like the way things look in one pocket pages for two pockets i use two different kinds of two pocket pages the first one is from bcw and it's the really short like not quite as big of a page as the other pages i've also used the ultra pro version of this pocket page i don't really have a preference between bcw and ultra pro most of the time i don't even look at that when i'm buying these things i just look to make sure it's one of the two and that's usually good enough for me the second kind of two pocket pages is from the brand guardhouse shield now i found out about these a long time ago from somebody else on youtube i can't remember who it was but usually you can find them on ebay or amazon i'll try to see if i can find a link whenever i see them i tend to buy them in bulk because every once in a while they'll just like vanish from the face of the earth and you won't be able to find them for three pockets i use two different types both are bcw and i got both off of amazon um the same goes for my four pocket six pocket and eight pocket sleeves i'll link those in the description for nine pockets i tend to use ultra pro but once again i don't have a huge preference between ultra pro and bcw so whatever works for you whatever you can find between those two i recommend i recently made the decision to double sleeve my cards with solid colored sleeves and these are by ultra pro i buy the standard normal kind i used matte for like a minute and i didn't like how the matte sleeves made my cards look i felt like they made them look super dull so i switched to just the normal standard size cards this is a personal preference of course um since i don't really like seeing through the next page i like the backs of cards but i don't like being able to see through to the next page so that's why i use these sleeves i also use the same cardstock i showed you earlier cards to put behind my three pockets my four pockets um, sometimes my two pockets. Finally, I'm slowly adding in filler cards for my pages that need them. Um, so when I have an entire set or I buy a tour card set or something of that sort, that is when I tend to use filler cards. I have an entire video coming out on how I make those. So go ahead and look forward to that. I won't go into it in this video. But yeah, that is everything I currently use in my binders as of February 2020. I hope this was helpful for those of you who watch my photo card videos and have your own personal collections as well. Let me know what supplies you guys use in the comments section down below, and I will see you guys very, very soon. Bye!